It is horrific and could be the latest chapter in acts of barbarism by Islamic militants. But Japanese authorities are trying to find out, is it real? You're looking at an image of 47-year-old journalist Kenzi Koto holding what appears to be a photo of ISIL captive Haruna Yakawa after Yakawa was beheaded by the terrorist group. Goto's mother is horrified. His face looked extremely nervous. I think he feels gravely about what is to come. I think that's what it is. This is no time to be optimistic. My beloved wife, I love you. The image, along with an audio recording of Goto, was put online, but only for a short time. Then it was deleted. Japanese officials say they are trying to determine if it is authentic. I have no words to express the pain the families are going through. A few days ago, ISIL said it would release the two if Japan paid a $200 million ransom within 72 hours. But the deadline passed without payment. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says his country remains resolute in the fight against terror. These sorts of terrorist acts of violence are outrageous and unforgivable. I feel deep resentment and resolutely condemn these acts. I would like to again strongly call for no harm to be done to Kenji Goto and for his immediate release. Goto is a well-respected journalist. For his part, Yakawa is being called an adventurer, someone who had become fascinated by the ongoing ISIL conflict. There are reasons to be suspect of this image, according to posts online. One militant associated with ISIL wrote on a website that the photo is fake. Another points out the image was not issued by al Khan, ISIL's media arm. We will not give in to terrorism. We plan to continue working as an entire government for our citizens' safety. There is yet another wrinkle in Goto's recorded statement that appeared online. He said the militants no longer want the $200 million. Instead, they are calling for the release of an attempted suicide bomber, Sajida al-Rashawi, from prison in Amman, Jordan, where she was sentenced to death. Sean Caleb, CCTV in Washington.